Hi everyone, my name is Janu and I'm a content creator here on YouTube and Instagram and I use my platform to teach people how to live a low waste lifestyle. I think living a zero waste or low waste lifestyle is all about being prepared. So today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite zero waste swaps to take with me on the go. My first swap is to avoid single use coffee cups and instead go with a reusable to go cup. Each year, roughly 500 billion coffee cups are produced worldwide. Disposable cups are lined with a mixture of paper and plastic in order to make them heat and leak proof. It requires special plants to recycle these lined cups, so nearly 99% of them do not get recycled. One of my favorites is the Carter Everywhere mug. I love that it's double insulated, so it keeps your drinks super hot or super cold, whatever works for you. And you can easily just throw it in your bag without having to worry about it leaking. I know sometimes it can be hard to bring your own reusable cup, but there are a lot of places now that are actually starting to take them again, and there are some coffee shops you can find that will actually sanitize the cups for you and then still use them. If you want something super lightweight to pop in your bag, Stojo has a great option. There are collapsible cups that can easily go in your bag and then when you need them you can simply pull them out. This cup can fold up and practically take up no space which I love because that means I can always have a reusable cup with me when I'm on the go. Swap number two is instead of using plastic cutlery, bring your own reusable cutlery set. According to the Plastic Pollution Coalition, Americans use nearly 100 million pieces of disposable cutlery every day. These single-use utensils can be difficult to recycle because they're usually contaminated and so small in shape and size that they typically fall through or get stuck in the recycling machinery. And compostable utensils aren't necessarily any better. Most compostable utensils are made from materials that require commercial composting facilities in order to break them down. Most of the time, these compostable products are tossed in the trash where they end up in a landfill without proper exposure to oxygen. Therefore, they can take hundreds of years to break down and off-gas methane in the process. I always keep for usable utensils with me, whether in my backpack or my purse when I'm on the go, so I'm always prepared. Bamboo cutlery is a great option because it's super lightweight and it also can decompose at the end of life. What I also recommend to people is to just DIY your own kit because the most sustainable thing you can do is to use what you already have. So just go in your drawer, pick out your fork, knife, and spoon, get a little reusable towel that you already have, and just make your own DIY utensil kit. So save money and you can also save the planet as well. Another great swap is replace single use straws with reusable ones. A 2017 study published in Science Advances states that each year 8.3 billion plastic straws end up polluting the world's beaches. I love the brand Final that has a reusable straw that is made up of silicone and metal and what's so cool about it is that it can fold up into a little container and you can easily clip that to your bag so you are definitely prepared when you are on the go. I can easily just whip it out, use it, clean it, and put it back and it it's great because now I don't have to worry about using single-use plastic straws. The straw comes with a cleaning brush that also folds up, which is super convenient. So you can make sure you're cleaning your straw when you're on the go as well. Another great eco-friendly swap is to avoid using disposable takeout containers and instead bringing your own reusable ones. According to the EPA, containers and packaging, including those used for food, account for 23% of materials that end up in landfill in the US. Black plastic, which is popular in the food industry, is often not recycled because sorting systems are not capable of recognizing black pigments. Styrofoam, which is commonly used in the food industry, is a petrochemical, meaning it's derived from petroleum, which is known to cause multiple health issues it's also very difficult to recycle because it's easily contaminated by food and often breaks apart into tiny pieces that end up polluting the earth for centuries. I love using Sojo's reusable food containers because they are collapsible, which means that you can easily store them in your bag and whip it out whenever you need to use it. And I love that it's lightweight and it's just so convenient to have with me when I'm on the go. And then all I have to do is put the food in it that I don't eat at the restaurant and then I can take it home with me and I don't have to worry about wasting any packaging or containers that are gonna end up in landfill. Another really easy swap to make is instead of using single-use plastic bags when you're at the grocery store, just bring your own reusable bag. Americans use 100 billion plastic bags in a year, which require 12 million barrels of oil to manufacture. A great option is a reusable tote by Begitos. What I really like about it is that it can easily go into a little pouch, so you can always have it with you when you're on the go. If you're someone that's always forgetting to bring their own reusable bag, it's just great that you can clip it to your bag and always have it there. Then it becomes one of your essentials to just take with you on the go and it's super convenient and it really just cuts down on a ton of waste and it saves you money because then you don't have to go and spend 10 cents per bag as well. I've definitely collected a ton of reusable bags over the years so you definitely don't have to go out and buy one because I'm sure you already have one at home that you can use or you can also upcycle ones that are plastic because I know that there are plastic ones that are pretty durable. It's definitely a great option if you want to save some money. Another great and easy eco 
eco-friendly swap to make is to stop buying single-use plastic water bottles and instead opt for a reusable water bottle. According to a Forbes article from 2017, we globally purchase 1 million plastic bottles a minute, and 91% of those bottles are not recycled. Now, I know it can depend on where you live in the world. I was just in Mexico and you can't drink the tap water, so it can definitely be a little bit tricky, but if you're someone that has access to clean drinking water, I would highly recommend just refilling your reusable water bottle instead of using a single-use plastic water bottle. I know you've probably heard this swap a million times, but it is really one of the best ways to cut down on single-use plastic. So instead of relying on bottled water when I'm out, I always keep my clean canteen water bottle with me. I love that it's double insulated, and you're also saving money as well because you're not spending money on water when you can just refill from the tap at home. Another awesome swap is instead of using plastic produce bags when you go to the grocery store, you can just bring your own or not use bags at all. Whenever I go into the grocery store, I always see people using these plastic produce bags for things like bananas that don't even need produce bags. So I would definitely opt for using a reusable produce bag. I love the eco bags because they help to keep my produce clean as well as helping me reduce my waste. You can easily throw it in your bag or put it in your reusable bag. Living a low waste or zero waste life can seem very overwhelming, but if you start making small changes, it really does make a big impact. Another great swap is to stop using disposable napkins and instead bring your own reusable cloth napkins from home. According to a 2019 Business Insider article, the average American uses 2,200 standard two-ply napkins a year. It requires a lot of resources to produce these napkins, and oftentimes napkins aren't actually composted, so they just end up sitting in landfills. So it's a really great option to just use cloths that you already have around your house, and it's really all about being prepared. So those are some of my favorite zero-waste swaps for when you're on the go. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know in the comment section below if there are any swaps that you love that I didn't mention.